Hello guys. Welcome to World of Joysticks. We are working hard to make your gaming life easier. Many PC games support only Xbox gaming controllers, but manufacturers still produce a lot of direct input devices. There are game pads, racing wheels, flight sticks, guns, and others. But you cannot use them. Even in the Windows 10 store, games support only Xbox game pads. But how we can resolve this problem? Download and install World of Joysticks X input emulator from www.worldofjoysticks.com Let's start from installation procedure. Before installing emulator, you have to install the SCP Virtual Bus Driver. So open SCP Virtual Bus Driver folder and run Setup Execute. After installing the driver, return back from to the main folder. Run Setup Execute in order to install the Zinput emulator. See README text file for more details. Now, we'll review the user interface of World of Joysticks X input emulator. In the left top corner, we have a green button for refreshing devices, press it after connecting or disconnecting any gaming controllers to or from the PC. In the right top corner, we have a minimize and close buttons, pressing close button hides the emulator to the system tray. Pulling rate selector controls the pulling rate of connected devices. All the joysticks have a different quality of sticks so not always they returned back to initial position when you release them. To resolve this problem, you have a Axis Dead Zone selectors. All the area between from and to values is selected as initial position for all the sticks. In the center, we have a grid for assignments and the buttons for managing configurations. New button resets current configuration and starts the new one. Press load button to load an existing configuration XML file. Press Save button to save all the setting and assignments as XML configuration file. You can also remove single or multiple selected lines from the list of assignments. From the right side, we have a mode selector. Switch it to settings mode in order to open the setting drop down panel. Or switch it to playing mode when your device is connected, configuration is loaded and you are ready to play the game. Below we have a button that opens the force feedbacks converter preferences. By default, emulator converts X input force feedback, coming from the game, to appropriate direct input vibrations, supported by your device. And on this panel, you are enabled to adjust the default settings. You can increase the gain, if force feedback is too weak. Or add some extra duration, if force feedback is too short. On the settings panel, we have the device selector. 
Current version 1.74 supports input from four direct input devices but simulates only one Xbox controller. But next version 1.75 will simulate all the four controllers. Select an input device by this selector before starting assignments. From the right side on the settings panel, we have a button that opens the assignment wizard. By this wizard, you'll be able to configure your device during few minutes. You'll see how to do it in the next chapter of this tutorial. Before starting the assignment wizard, you have to take a look at the joystick axis information panel, touch the axis of your joystick and you can detect them on this information panel. After configuring your device by wizard, you are enabled to enter the comment for each assignment, do it in line in the grid. Emulator uses the contextual drop-down menu, you can open it by right-click in the application window, or from the system tray icon. Let's review the options of this menu. Show button is to restore the application window from the system tray. Stop Start Toggle button is for interrupting the emulation. Choose U Native Language Form the menu or use English. Use Auto Start checkbox to start emulator after restarting Windows, and Auto Connect checkbox to automatically connect the first available gaming controller. Press exit button to exit from the application. In the next part of this video, you'll see how to create configurations by wizard on the practice. Configurations, created by World of Joysticks X input emulator, are usually per device, so the same configuration you can use for any game with your device. But also, you are enabled to create specific configurations for each game. In this tutorial, we'll create the configuration for Thrustmaster Dual Trigger 3-in-1 Gamepad. All the controls of this gamepad will be assigned exactly to the appropriate controls of Xbox 360 controller. Let's start the assignment wizard. Some direct input devices, like this one, do not initialize some axes until any of CONTOLS is pressed. For this, we press both triggers together to initialize all the axes before assignments. Let's go to next step. We set the mouse cursor to text box, look at the picture and see the arrow it points to the corresponding control, press it. A button is assigned. Let's go to next step. Do the same for B button. Next step. Assign X button. Next step. Assign Y button. Next step. Assign Start button. Next step. 
Assign back button. Next step. Assign left bumper. Next step. Assign right bumper. Next step. Assign stick left button. Next step. Assign stick right button. Next step. Press POV switch of your device in any direction, it just verifies that POV switch exists. Assignments for all the directions of the switch will be created automatically. Next step. Push right the left stick of your device, be careful with direction. Next step. Push down the left stick of your device. Next step. Push right the right stick of your device. Next step. Push down the right stick of your device. In the beginning of next step we have to select the type of our trigger. Some game pads have single direction axes as triggers, like this one. On other game pads triggers behave as buttons, have only two states, pressed and released. And if you are using a racing wheel, you can assign your pedals as triggers. So select this option according to your device. In our case it is axis. And push the left trigger. Next step. Push the right trigger. Press done button. Save configuration as XML file. Switch emulator to playing mode. Now we can verify our assignments in the Windows control panel. Open control panel, hardware and sound, devices and printers. Select Xbox 360 controller for Windows, this is our virtual controller. Right click on it. Choose Game Controller Settings. Select Controller, Xbox 360 for Windows, press Properties. Set Mouse Focus to Opened Properties window. Check that all the assigned controls are working properly. Close this window. On this Thrustmaster controller we have two additional bumpers, we didn't assign them because Xbox controller has no more buttons. But it was possible to assign them instead of stick buttons. By the way, Thrustmaster Dual Trigger 3-in-1 it is a super controller. Because it does not have dead zone at all. All its axes always return back to initial state, but most of devices, including real Xbox controllers, have the dead zone. Emulator usually sets the dead zone to good enough default values, adjust them, only if it is really needed.
In the next part of this tutorial, we'll see how it works in the game.